Entitled, entertaining, enigma, all words that have been used to describe Harold Ballard, the owner of the Toronto Maple Leafs from 1972 to 1990. And he is now the subject of a new documentary about how he went from rich kid to rich man and the, I'm gonna call them missteps he took along the way. Watch this. Even in those times, he was outrageous for those times. Get out of here. Boy, you're just kicking the balls. If Harold Ballard existed in 2022, he would have been canceled, like, very quickly. And essentially, this is someone who's incredibly powerful. Pick The documentary is called Offside, the Harold Ballard story. It's directed by Jason Priestley. He's joining me along with executive producer Michael Geddes. Welcome to the show. I'm just telling both of you how much I enjoyed this documentary. To see it all in a one-stop shop, because I'd heard the stories throughout the years, but to see it all take place. Why was now the right time to tell the story? Jason, we'll start with you. Well, I mean, now felt like the right time because a lot of the people who were there and actually went through these experiences with him and witnessed them firsthand are getting to an age where they're starting to shake off this mortal coil and no longer be with us. So we wanted to um, document the, the, the experiences as close to, to firsthand as we could. And it, was, it just felt like the right time. Yeah. And we realized that no one had ever done a really deep dive yeah. documentary and sort of put all these experiences in, in one stop shop, like you say. Yeah. And, um, and so we took the opportunity. Michael, what about you? Why did you want to tell the story? For me, it was really a guy like Harold Ballard in the 70s and 80s in Toronto. There was nobody like him. He was P.T. Barnum. He was a showman. Mm -hmm. uh, he had his own set of rules. He ran unchecked. And I don't really know there was anybody like him in this country. So it was, it was time. Yeah, was it difficult to get people to talk about him at this point? Uh, I, Not really. The, the, the cap, we got the captains on board, Sittler, yeah. Vive, Wendell. Uh, we certainly got the media on side. Those are really the two uh, pillars of people we spoke to. And they wanted to share their personal experiences about Ballard. They, didn't want to move the needle on, you know, furthering the story of public enemy number one, because he, he wasn't. But they all had their time and their term with the Ballard regime, and it was, they shared those experiences. So we, we, we got a lot out of them. It was great. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the great thing in talking to all of the players is that they're incredibly forthcoming um, about, yeah. their, about their feelings and their, and their frustration or their admiration. Like they, like they didn't hold anything back. It wasn't just the typical sound bites that you see, you know. Uh, yeah. they, they really, a, a lot of them get really uh, emotional about their time, right? Well, I like, wondered about that process too, about them going back and sort of reliving that experience. Because there's a lot of emotion there with, you know, the people that you, you talk to in this documentary. What were your impressions of Harold Ballard before you went into this, and did it change at all, Jason? Well, I grew, you know, I grew up in Vancouver, and, yeah. and I'm, uh, you know, I'm only, I, I'm of an age where, you know, I, I sort of knew the legend of Harold Ballard, and 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 uh, you know, sort of knowing, seeing him from afar, uh, I didn't know that much, and so making this documentary for me was was a, was a great education, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I had to learn uh, a, a lot about him. Um, and and so so I, I mean I, I really learned everything about him, yeah. which was which was really interesting for me. And 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 what I learned was that he was an incredibly controversial, interesting guy that was a lot of things to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and so I felt as uh, as a filmmaker, and we all felt as filmmakers, it was our responsibility to lay out all of the information that we got, the good, the bad, the ugly, yeah. and and let the let the audience determine how they felt about it's Harold all out Ballard there. at the end, right? Yeah, exactly. Was there a standout moment for you? Well, there really was. I mean, I didn't know, for instance, that when Harold Ballard took control of the team in the early 70s, he was a 68-year-old man. Mm -hmm. That's retirement time, yet <sighs> for the next 20 years, he, he ran hard, tried to have as much fun as he could. Uh, probably didn't know he was uh, immersed in what he was immersed in, the biggest crown jewel corporation of this country. Right. And, you know, things didn't get run between the lines. He, he very much pushed the lines wherever he could. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just really was gobsmacked when I heard he was 68 years old yeah. when he took control yeah. of the team. Think about that. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, he lived in the gardens. I mean, there's so yeah. much to this documentary. Yeah. Uh, thank you both for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. We want to let our viewers know Offside, the Harold Ballard story comes out on January 22nd on CBC and CBC Gem. Thanks, both of you. Right. Thank hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.